hello there welcome into sage sunset healing tarot thank you so much for being here i hope that you're doing well i'm gonna be taking a look at some tarot messages for the sign of aquarius so we're looking at aquarius sun moon rising and venus sign we're looking at um so we're doing a general reading so these messages may not apply to all of you so take what applies for you aquarius I want to thank you all for your loving kindness and support. I'm currently at 300 subscribers. So thank you so much for being here and let us keep it going. All right, Aquarius, we're going to take a look here at what's coming toward you. Exciting, right? What you're leaving behind. So remember that this is energy tarot. So you need to really... Feel the energy, Aquarius. So focus, breathe, and let us begin to get some good-ass messages out here for you. Okay. So we have the Two of Swords energy. It came in the reverse. I'm taking it upright whilst considering it in the reversal energy. Two of Swords, I feel for me, that is you, Aquarius, really aligning with your intuition. And this intuition is one that keeps you grounded. It, it, um, it, it keeps you connected with a, or aligned with a sense of yourself, a sense of your self-worth, your dignity, your pride, your standards, your boundaries. Using your intuition also to, as like a guiding force through this course of life here, Aquarius. So you you i feel like you also have water tendencies within your charts cancer pisces scorpio energy here very intuitive so i feel like you may there's a situation that may require you to use your intuition and that is also a gift that you have i feel being able to focus with the two of swords energy yes you're being you're able to align and focus intently on what it is that you want to achieve aquarius and that when you begin to focus, you tap into your emotional field. That's nice. And it pairs well with the hermit energy here of really going inside, going on that quest, to, on that internal journey to find dignity, to find yourself, your purpose. Here you are again with the Ten of Swords energy. So from the two to the ten, so I feel like you went through a transformation or you're currently going through a stage where something is ending. You're maybe walking away from a relationship, a business relationship, possibly wanting to go out and find your own way, make your own path, your own start, your own business, wanting your own sense of self, foundation, stability, security here. Some of you may already have your business. We see the Ten of Swords energy. For me, the Ten of Swords it's all, is also symbolic of the Tower energy, which um, things end, but it's also a new beginning because as you can see in the card here, the dawn is breaking. The dark clouds are moving away or departing, and I still feel life in you. Sometimes I feel like the Ten of Swords says we can keep ourselves trap because at the beginning the one which is the beginning and the end it's as if that is where the choice is for us when we cross over from that five energy that rapid change then the 10 comes along to say all right it is here that you have the decision to make either you're going to move forward or you're going to stay um in resentment clinging on to things that happened to you in the past you know this is the time for you to really clear, allow the clouds to clear out and walk away from situations that are not serving you. Anything having to do with finances. So that could be an obstacle for you here. Um, being at this crossroads where you need to decide, choose the path that you're about to take. We have the moon card. It came in the reversal, taking it upright. So the moon is representative of things not... Things seen from a certain perspective. So, shadows are things not seen, things things hidden. 
I feel it is very related to the Ten of Swords energy here, something in the dark, the Tower energy, something kind of dark energy here for your Aquarius. And that may be what needs to be cleared away. Maybe someone needs to align with their truth to move forward. The Moon energy. Any clarifiers for the Moon energy here in Aquarius is reading? What is the Moon card here saying? Angel Spirits. And guides, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for helping me to clarify this moon energy in a curse's reading. The so we have the jack of diamonds to clarify the moon energy, the three of diamonds. Hmm. All right. So the, what this scenario I'm getting is you're on your quest. Things are taking a while to work out. I feel like maybe you feel a bit in doubt about what you're doing um, if, uh, with the Ten of Swords energy as if you're wondering if it's really going to pay off Aquarius for you. Uh, maybe you need some motivation here. And so with the Three of Diamonds here, I feel like you're almost there. The Three of Diamonds is the Sun card. I feel like that's a light that is guiding you to where you're going and I feel this all have to do with your finances your sense of self-worth value what you're offering in this world I do feel like you're on some kind of a quest it's taking a, it's time it's earth energy Taurus Virgo Capricorn here it could be a business partner with an earth sign and things aren't moving as quickly as you'd hope and maybe you feel a bit drained or tired Aquarius about this situation as if you're wondering if it's going to work out the moon energy as if things feel a bit uncertain or unclear but with the three of diamond energy i feel like you're you're being guided it's as if um i get the energy aquarius where the three wise men were guided by the stars on their horses with the knight of pentacles energy here Possibly working on a new business, a new idea, wanting to get it off the ground, maybe having a bit of financial instability. I feel this also has a, this financial instability that you're facing. Or This is for some of you because I do have the Queen of Pentacles here, which is also financial stability and independent success being grounded. So some of you are already mastering your finances, but there's something else coming up, maybe wanting to do some soul searching, going off for that purpose having another business idea that you're starting up. There are others of you that do have this financial instability going on with you right now. I feel it's about to clear up if you continue on your journey. Just hold firm where you need to get through the motions because that's a part of life. <clears throat> um, we have the Eight of Wands energy coming out to... So that's what this is what is coming up for you maybe you're going to get some statements some benefits something in written forms creative writing legal writing something coming to you that you deserve maybe you've been worrying about this Aquarius it could be something financial that you're hoping for maybe you feel a bit uh, maybe you're looking for a job some of you because moving from the ten of swords to the ten of wands energy here it could be that you're seeking a job also with the hermit card seeking employment but I, I love seeing the three of pentacles card here it makes me feel like there is hope if you look at what it is that you have to offer now i feel like you'll feel like okay aquarius so i'm getting that some of you may be worrying about financial instability here holding on to money hoarding money that's the energy you get with the four of pentacles card here really holding on to money for some of you this is not necessarily money but a sense of value i hear purpose in your life of being of service maybe you're out of work for some of you and it, it makes you feel you're going through a bit of sadness now um or, or this is for some of you, uh, um, some, maybe someone moved away from you, Aquarius, with the Ten of Wands energy and you're feeling sad about someone that left. You know, if we want to look at it in a bit of a relationship perspective here, really saying to yourself, I feel you hope to find some, some peace of mind. You hope to find some peace of mind. I get that with the Moon card. 
and the four of swords energy i i feel like you hope to find divine peace of mind and that could be in healing i feel like you hope to connect with um maybe ground your emotions yes i feel like you hope to feel grounded in your in your emotional calmness your sense of self your state your well-being i feel like maybe you feel very unsteady and not just financially for some of you and maybe you are your emotional unsteadiness right now is affecting your job your business development you're seeking some clarity and advice and that is good i see that you're turning toward the sun card here the, for the three of pentacles is the sun energy and i see that you're seeking toward that sun energy so you're looking in the right direction so maybe you need do need to really meditate i feel especially tune into some moon energy here aquarius and breathe and relax <laughs> That's the energy here for you that will help you to find clarity. I feel like it's going to help you to clear away fogginess, doubt, confusion about any situation that you possibly have been attached to, tethered to, anchored to in the past. And that is hindering your choice to really move forward. This is the yes or no. What, what direction will you be moving in Aquarius this relaxation and meditation within your soul space with the moon energy here I feel you're divinely connected to maybe Piscean energy very intuitive knowing how to connect to your emotional body so find that place to meditate that would be my advice from the cards for you so relax breathe um, I feel uh, wear something light and just connect to a feeling of divinity if it is even the air connect with something and allow it to take you to a state of relaxation and take some time for yourself move away from any attachments that are not serving you negative attachments in relationships aquarius this could be to an earth sign here taurus virgo capricorn i see water energy as well cancer pisces scorpio <coughs> Let's see what your outcome will be. Ooh, the Three of Swords, Aquarius. So for me, the Three of Swords energy, I heard not good. But of course, you know, the Three of Swords is betrayal, hurt. Um, I feel like you, you, you can see this coming and avoid, avoid the situation here. Being strong enough to walk away, to look in another direction with the Hermit card. And that other direction is within yourself, Aquarius. A deep, a deep self-introspection. With the moon energy, it's deep-seated. You need to figure out what emotions are, 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 are like keeping you intertwined in a certain situation here. Intertwined, attached things emotions that you've manifested inside of you like it's rooted in you that you need to kind of clear out and i feel like when you start meditating things will start picking up speed and you'll see that things are turning in your favor on the bottom of the deck here which seems unfortunate is that we have the devil energy but do not be dissuaded by these things as we see them here so we have the three of swords and the devil energy which is saying that this broken heart could be coming through or, or a, um, a situation that maybe is not going to work out in your favor um it could be coming through some negative attachments that you have with with a person maybe an earth sign capricorn virgo taurus energy here and um or a fire energy for some of you but i feel like you can see what's coming and hope for the best with the sun card because from this sun which is christ energy to the devil you have the choice and that's what i've been saying all along is to seek answers and then choose what direction you choose to move in and i feel like you have both love and support on your side here we have hermit energy and so you should keep going praying hoping meditating and clearing away energies that are not serving you and i hope to see you next time and see what the results will be for you so remember Aquarius, to subscribe to my channel for future videos thank you so much for your support like and share this video to those that you love other ways to support my channel can be found in the description box below this video remember that all is within you aquarius and you are all much
much love. Thank you so much.